Hi, I'm Eve and I'm an architect and today we're going to be making a geodesic dome. Um, it can be a fruit bowl or it can be a lampshade, it can be whatever you want to be after you've made it. Um, now just a little bit of warning, it takes a lot of preparation, you have to cut all these straws up and so if it's a little bit complicated or you're finding it a bit hard, at the end of the video I go through how to make some slightly easier things. So just fast forward if you find it a little bit hard. So you need 10 green straws and the green straws need to be six centimetres long. So if you get your ruler from your previous art kit and you measure six centimetres and then another six centimetres and then another six centimetres. And if you get another straw, you can match those marks up. So you draw them on that one. So you've got two straws, each with six centimetre marks on. Now, the best way to cut all the straws up is to get a book and put the straw, the edge of the straws up against the book with the two straws with the marks on at the edges. And then if you get two bits of blue tack, you can wedge the straws together. Now the straws obviously like to roll around a little bit so you can make your marks a bit more obvious. There you go. Make sure all the straws are pushed against the edge of the book and get your ruler and draw between the two marks. Make sure, see there, that one popped out a little bit. And make sure they're always tucked in. Tuck them in. You can hold the straws still if you like with the hand. And there you go. All of the straws have the six centimetre marks. Now, move these out of the way. And you should have your scissors from another pack. And you can get a container, anything will do, a cup or a Tupperware. And then you want to cut along those lines. And this little bit is a bit too small to do anything with, so that can just go in the bin. So once you've cut up all the straws, you should have 30 six centimetre green bits. And if you just put them out the way for a sec, now we need to do the blue straws. So you need 18 of these blue straws. And this time we're cutting them into seven centimetres. Now you only get two seven centimetre lengths out of these ones. So once you've cut all of those straws up, you should have 18 7 centimetre straws. Now what we've got to do, to move those out of the way, is cut up our pipe cleaners. So you can see here I've already cut my pipe cleaner into two. 
Um, so your pipe cleaner should be about this long. So if you cut it into two, and then into two again. So each pipe cleaner, you'll get four bits. You get another container and put those in. So you want to cut up all of your pipe cleaners into quarters, which means four. And you don't have to do them one at a time. You can do them in bunches. There you go. So you should now have your green straws, your pipe cleaners, and your blue straws. So well done if you've managed to do this. It's a lot of prep. And now we can start making. So the first thing we're going to make is six of these pentagons. So firstly, we're going to get five of the green ones for the middle, which they should be the shorter six centimetre lengths. What we're going to do is get a pipe cleaner and bend it in half. Thread it through one straw and then the other to make a V shape. Get another pipe cleaner through that same straw, add another straw, add another pipe cleaner, add another straw. Then once you've got four, you're going to put a pipe cleaner in each side. Then pinch those pipe cleaners together and thread that fifth straw on like that. And then You're left with a star shape and in each straw you want to put two pipe cleaners bent in half in each side. And sometimes it might meet the other pipe cleaner that's coming that way. So it might be a tiny bit tricky. You just have to persevere and wiggle it around a little bit. There we go. Now once you've done that, get your blue straws, which are the longer seven centimetre ones. So you need five of those and then you just thread them on like that. And there you have a pentagon. You need to make six in total, so you need to make four more. So once you've made six pentagons, we're now going to put them together, but just five at first. So if you move one out the way, so you know you're not using that one. And what we're going to do is you can see on this one, I know it's different colours, so it's a bit tricky. But you've got the five green ones there and another five green ones there, and they're connected by two triangles. So that's what we're gonna do. So if you get two, and we're gonna put a blue one there, and a blue one there. So bend your pipe cleaner there and 
in there. Gonna connect these two up. The first, the first thing I'm gonna do is connect these two up like this. That way. And then also, so we've just put one there and then we're gonna put one there. So slide that in and slide that in there. It's a little bit tricky getting that in. There we go. So those two are now connected. Now we want to connect this one. Slide that on, slide that on, and then you want to put another one here. Another blue one. You can see how it's starting to take a shape. So now we've got two pentagons together, we need to add these three. So again, we want to join these bits up first. And you can see here one slipped a little bit, you can just slide that back together. Sometimes if you slide that Another one might slide. That's going to keep happening a little bit till they're all put together. So don't worry about that too much. Now we're just going to add this one. You can see it's starting to take a kind of rounded form. So this is four pentagons put together. Now with the fifth pentagon, we're gonna join them all up. So first of all, do is exactly, oh, here we go, things are slightly starting to come apart. It's pretty normal, don't worry about it. So we're gonna do exactly the same as all the others at first. So join that bit up. Then, this is slightly tricky now, so you want to fold it around and then these two corners you want to join up. So, exactly the same as before, it's just not flat so it's a little bit more confusing. And a little bit more fiddly. See things are slipping around a little bit. Go. And then you want to join that up with another blue one. There we go, it's starting to take its shape which is really exciting. And then you want to put another blue one here. You can see that there's all these blue ones make a, a decagon, which is a ten sided shape around here. You're just missing one there. There we go. Okay, and then we're ready to move on to the next face. So you can see here that there is shape left over, a pentagon shape, which this fits perfectly into. But we don't need on this one these blue bits because these blue bits are already there. So if you just slide them off, Oh, 
already got your pipe cleaners in the right place and then just slide them in oh this one's being a bit hard there we go And there you go you might need to tweak it ever so slightly if bits have popped out a little bit there you go your own geodesic dome now in your pack is enough to make three domes so if you manage to make two what you could do if you like is join them together you can just take your leftover pipe cleaners, put it round and give it a little twist. And there you have a sphere. Now with your craft paper you can decide what you'd like to put in your dome. So I'm going to pretend that my dome is a fruit basket. So I'm going to draw an apple. And I'm going to draw on the yellow one a cut in half lemon. And on the orange one, I'm going to draw a peach. I'm going to cut these out and then I'm going to put my fruit in my fruit bowl. There you go. 